Daniel became aware of the darkness first, a void with no light, no sound, no feeling. Slowly his senses began to return to him. He became aware of pain, terrible pain all over his body and a cold hard table beneath him. Sound began to assault his ears, a cacophony of voices yelling over each other to a point he could understand nothing being said. Finally his sight began to return and he saw the ceiling and realized there were doctors and nurses crowded all around him. He tried to lift his head to see what was going on but he couldn't move it. Patient is awake, came a voice from somewhere. Sir, a face appeared over him, you have been in an accident. You have a serious injury to your chest and we are trying to help you. Please try and remain calm and still. Daniel felt no panic. He barely understood what was going on, he felt sleepy. He let his eyes slowly close as the darkness closed back in around him. Pressure is dropping. We are losing him. The voice sounded urgent but seemed so far away to him. He didn't worry, they said they were helping. Besides, the pain was going away, perhaps he would just go back to sleep. Once again Daniel became aware of light. It brightened slowly surrounding him. He felt warm. He was aware of many people around him but all he could see was light. Hello, a voice filled his mind. Welcome back. It is wonderful to have you among us once again. Again? Daniel thought. Yes, again. I didn't say that out loud, Daniel protested. You'll remember soon as you become aware of yourself, the voice informed him. Integration will come with understanding. It's a process to go through when you return from the physical world and get used to being here again. Confusion reigned in Daniel's mind. He was confused because all he saw was light. There was neither up nor down. He heard voices but saw no people. How bad was the accident? He tried to calm himself. He wanted to close his eyes but the light was still there. He tried to take a deep breath but could not feel the air move into his lungs. He tried to focus on a single thing and felt quiet surround him. He reached out with his mind and became aware of many others around him. He suddenly saw memories of those people, things they were sharing both good and bad. He glimpsed a thousand different things in no time at all. Very good, came the voice again. You are back with us again. Are you God? Daniel asked. No, the voice chuckled, we haven't reached that point yet where we can be with him. We still have much to learn. That is what we must do now, we must learn. You went to the world where time exists and makes the physical world possible so that you could learn a lesson and come back to teach us. To us here you never left since there is no time here. We felt your sudden confusion and knew you had gone and come back. Please, share with us what you have learned. I don't know what I learned, Daniel was still confused but starting to recall what it was to be in this place. Share your memories with us, the voice prodded. Daniel started at his earliest memory, he was sitting in his father's lap while being read to. He could feel the reaction of those around him all enjoying the familial setting. He flashed through his life sharing his first day of school, meeting friends, graduations, moving from place to place. Life changes, getting a job, meeting new girlfriends, getting married, having children, and going on vacations. That was all very nice, the voice came again, but it was not everything. To learn we must see it all. Daniel felt ashamed but recalled more memories. He showed them how he tormented his siblings on occasion, he stole money from his mother's purse, he shoplifted candy from a store, he cheated on a test, and he cheated on his wife once. 
Many other things that he didn't like that he wished he hadn't done were shared with the souls that surrounded him. He could feel they felt the same shame he felt but compassion as well. Many shared memories back showing they had done the same. Yes, those were bad things and we have seen us all fall to temptation. Many of us have learned to deny the worst of the temptations in our journey to become pure spirits, but that wasn't the lesson you learned. Please share the rest. Daniel became embarrassed. He knew they could feel it coming from him but he also knew the voice was correct. He would have to share. They saw a vision of a young Daniel at school watching the little girls play. He watched intently as they played hopscotch, the ones in dresses he watched the closest. The others could feel the curiosity emanating from the memory. A slightly older Daniel spied on a friend's sister as she changed clothes in a bedroom he could see into from a tree not far away. He watched as she walked around in her bra and panty trying to decide what to wear holding up blouses and skirts, dresses, slacks evaluating her options in the mirror she peered into. Next, they saw as a ten-year-old Daniel snuck into his mother's room and looked through the drawers. His heart raced as he ran his fingers through the silky panties, slips and bras. He breathed in the sweet smell that rose from the sachet. He carefully replaced everything and searched other drawers inspecting the sweaters, blouses, and nightgowns. He turned to the closet and ran his hands over the dresses lined up on their hangers. He lifted the hem of one and stepped underneath. When he heard a door close he hurriedly slipped out from under the dress, closed the door and scrambled out of the room. A bit older now, he stood naked in the bathroom in front of a mirror, his penis stiff with excitement. He took a pair of his mother's panties and pulled them up his legs. They felt so smooth and sexy against his skin. The lace band at the waist and around his legs made him even more excited. He struggled getting the pantyhose on but eventually got them to slide into place. He figured out how to put on the bra and pulled a full slip over his head. Finally he got the dress on and faced the mirror. He studied himself looking at his face that hadn't yet begun to sprout any facial hair and wondered what it would be like to wear lipstick, a shadow and other things, because even without those things now he felt he looked very much like a girl. He tried to walk around in the cramped bathroom but it wasn't large enough to get the effect he wanted. He wanted to walk about the house but his siblings might wake up and catch him. He decided next time to find a way to add breasts. He ran his hands over the top of the dress feeling the material of the bra against his nipples, the silkiness of the slip against his stomach, and the sleekness off the pantyhose against his legs. He felt of himself all over and eventually lifted his dress to masturbate into the sink. He carefully removed the clothes and put them back where they belonged. More images flashed by as Daniel grew older and more adept at getting dressed in women's clothes. He was in all sorts of bras and panties, pantyhose of different styles and colors. Dresses of varying lengths adorned his lean body. Sometimes they were the clothes of his mother. Other times he raided the drawers and closets of other women who hired him for babysitting jobs. He felt guilty for betraying the trust, but he never stole anything. Others around him reflected the feelings back to him. Daniel was now older and living on his own. They watched as memories of him buying his first dress and felt his fear of being seen by someone that knew him. They also felt how the initial times dressing were very sexual in nature but as time went on the feeling changed to just the joy of being who he was and the sensation of the clothes. They watched as he bought panties and hosiery. A nightgown joined the dress hidden away in a box in a closet in case someone should come by for a visit. It wasn't long before his paranoia of getting caught caused him to toss those things into a dumpster and be gone forever. But the longing didn't end. He would see a woman in a beautiful dress walking down the street and long to be able to feel the same feelings of the dress sliding around his legs as the breeze gently tugged at it. 
The process would start again as he collected a small wardrobe and after a short time would end up throwing it out again. Now he was married. He occasionally would dip into his wife's lingerie and don an outfit while she was away doing shopping. Many of her things did not fit him at all. He longed for having things of his own but knew that wouldn't go over with his wife. A new memory of his wife berating him for wearing her things came up. She had discovered some of her clothes had been stretched out of shape and was certain she knew why. Daniel pleaded with her to understand that he felt a need to do these things and that nobody was being hurt. He explained that maybe if she would allow him to have some things of his own then he would be able to privately take care of his needs and nobody else would ever know. She argued that someone might see him through a window. Or their kids would be getting old enough that they might find his things and tell others. Besides, he needed to just stop the silliness and be the man she married. He didn't argue any more. He understood her fears as he had been dealing with those same worries all his life. He nodded to her and she stormed out of the room. He didn't stop though, he couldn't stop. He did buy some things of his own and hid them away but he was always afraid that his wife or kids would discover them. Sometimes he would get something only to throw it away a few days later because it was too frilly or too girly. He found it odd thinking that if something were discovered it would be better if someone found his black skirt, but not the pair of leopard print panties with the lace trim but it made some sense to him. He went through all the memories of his dresses and lingerie. He recalled the times he was on business trips and would buy things to wear in his hotel room. His purchases and purges throughout his lifetime. He finally concluded and felt embarrassed that it had been laid out bare in front of all these others and around him. He felt gladness and joy radiating back at him and was confused by it. You do not understand because you are blinded by what things you were taught in that life. But we all have different experiences and we all have learned by what you have shared. What could I learn from that? Daniel protested. I wasn't strong enough to resist the urge to wear women's clothes? That it caused discomfort in my wife when she discovered what I was doing? You are still consumed by your own judgments. You are still thinking in the absolutes that are required in the physical world. Here there are no clothes, no male or female. You still think of yourself as Daniel because it was who you became in your last life in the physical world. Reach out with your essence. Discover yourself again. At first Daniel was confused. Then he allowed his mind to expand taking in all the things around him. To become aware of all of what he was. He became aware of memories of other lives he lived in other times in the physical world. He realized that what he thought was souls that surrounded him were actually his own self that he had separated from to take on the life he had just lived. The voice that spoke to him was actually his own self. Now that he was integrated back into the rest of himself, he became aware of others that were there. Friends, relative, even pets that were happy to see him and have his new experience as a part of them as well. So what did you learn from that life? The question came from somewhere he did not know, it might even have come from himself. It would seem there are things that we desire that have such an intense hold on us that it is near impossible to deny those desires. For some, they are terrible. For others, like myself, they are harmless and bring the person some joy. I should not judge others not knowing what things drive them. What goes on between two or more consenting adults is up to them. What is next? I think I am ready for a new lesson but I only just got back. Yes, you have been back for a second and for a millennium. There is no time here. Go if you are ready to go. We are here always. A part of the essence separated and made the transition into the physical world eager to see what was to be learned next. 
bright light hit the eyes of the newborn baby as it emerged into the world. Congratulations, you have a healthy baby girl, the doctor told the new parents. Her name is Danielle, the father answered back as he squeezed his wife's hand.